Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Command Your Confidence and today I want to talk to you about how to successfully set up a date with a girl you match with online. But before I go into the show, please remember to subscribe and also I offer coaching so hit the button below in the description. There's a link that where you can set up a free 10 to 15 minute consultation with me and I can see where you're at and get you to where you want to be. So today I want to talk to you about how to successfully set up a date with a girl you match with online. And the reason why I decided to go over this topic was because I don't want you guys to waste your time messaging girls who are not interested in you. And I want you to be able to, like, when you match with a girl, easily set up a date and everything. And also, like, I've heard from some of the women that I've dated that most of the guys they match with one, they wouldn't say all of them, but most of them, all they want to do is message and they don't even set up a date and they lose that attraction. So I don't want you to be one of those guys. I want you to have success uh, when it comes to online dating. So the first thing I want you guys to consider when you match with someone is to keep it short and then ask for a phone number. So what I normally like to do if I match with a girl on the app, whether she reaches out to me first or I reach out to her first is that I like to say, hey, how is it going? I mentioned something about the vibe and something I find attractive about her and I'm very light about it and I'm not over um, flirty with the compliment, I'm just very light. So for instance, if I see a girl who has like a creative look or uh, a, a positive vibe, I'll be like, hey, how are you? I really like the positive vibe and uh, alluring smile that you have going on in your photo. And then from there, I state what my intentions are. So I've, my intentions are, I would like to chat with her more and invite her out for a drink. So I mentioned that in there. And then I open up with like a personal question, like tell me one fun fact about yourself or tell me something interesting that you did not mention in your profile. Something along the lines of that, just to get her to kind of open up to me and just kind of build that connection through the messaging. And you know, at, and then after that, I kind of wait for a response. And most of the times, I get like a thank you and everything, and I get a reply to the question, and then they ask me the same question, which is good. Other times, I don't. I get a thank you, and that's it. And from there, I can kind of calibrate whether or not the girl is interested. If she's, you know, being responsive towards the message, and is actually at, interested in asking, learning, wanting to get to know more about me, that's kind of good. But sometimes too, I've noticed like the girl will reply to the message and then I say, okay, so after, based on her reply, I find another question as to why or how or when she got into that or what inspired her to do this or that or when she tells me about her fun fact. And from there, if she doesn't ask me a question, I just kind of say one fun fact about myself regardless or mention something cool based off, you know, responding to the same question that I gave her. And from there, I just kind of calibrate to see if she shows interest in the conversation. If she does, great. And then I kind of like will say, hey, I, would, I don't want to end up messaging her back and forth forever, but I like to say, hey, I like, shoot me your number. I would like to chat with you over the phone sometimes so we can make a plan to have a drink or something, whatever it is you want to do. And most of the girls will give out the numbers, but some won't. And when the ones who don't give out the number, you know, some of them are just a little unease about it, which is perfectly fine because, you know, there's a lot of weirdos out there on the online dating world. Uh, so they, they probably just want to chat more. So I offer an alternative, like there's the chat feature on the app. There's a chat feature like WhatsApp, there's Instagram, anything that has like a, like a phone feature or a uh, video chat feature. And normally, like if they're interested, you'll get like, okay, cool, let's chat on this app. Well, let's chat here, or we can chat on the app. I'm fine with that. That's cool. Sometimes they'll be like, you know, I've gotten responses like, well, I don't know how to use the app. And normally, if I can see that, you know, the, you know, get a response where she's not kind of moving towards wanting to have a conversation, I kind of just, you know, kick it to the curb because I know it's a waste of time. And sometimes too, like even after you, you know, kind of, you can, if you want, you can also, if a girl's like, I don't need to get to know you more before I can get your number, you can also, you know, try to set up the date. Like there are incidents where girls were like, well, I'm not, I, I gotta meet you or I gotta get to know you more before I give you my number. 
and from there you can just try to set up the date over the phone and I've done that a couple times successfully but just kind of see how she reacts is she moving towards what you want her to she you know showing interest is she wanting to have go out on a date or you know attempt to you know meet you or have any sort of communication with you and if you're not getting that vibe then it's perfectly fine to just kind of cut her to the curb and let it go because like you don't want to waste your time some people are a lot of people are on these apps you know just for the attention or they just have nothing else to do and they get bored and everything so you, you don't want to waste your time and, and plus like with uh you know when I mean, you kind of know what you want and you're kind of direct within your, your what you want your, and, your, your, and you communicate that to the woman i mean that's going to show her that you're a guy who's decisive who can make up his mind and knows what he wants so i mean if she doesn't like that then it's perfectly fine you know just move on to the next person but i don't want you guys to waste your time because i've known some people who just message and message and message they feel like they got to send hundreds of messages before they can ask for a number or going on a date and I was like that too a long time ago. I thought like, okay, well, maybe like she won't talk to me. I can't get her phone number, I should say, until I message her like 50 times. And really, you know, you'd want to keep it short. Like I find that the more um, quick you move, move you know, as far as progressing forward and setting things up, it shows a, a level of interest within the woman. So that's what I've noticed. And the ones, like I said, who followed the, my, you know, the lead or the, you know, actually, followed through on everything uh more and more interested in meeting up and so there you go and, and so after you kind of get that you can do it either a couple ways if so if, say if a girl does not want to give her phone number to you until she meets you okay think of a few t uh, dates and times you can meet to suggest one date and see what she says give her a place location and time and if she's open awesome and always be sure before you after you set it up like the follow up the day of just to ensure that she's you know there and like normally she's responsive you know she's probably going to show up but i've noticed sometimes where i set up a date and the girl didn't show up so i normally just like to do a follow up just to make sure it works uh, so you can do it that way um if you get her phone number I like to keep it short. I'm really busy, so I'll give her a call. I'll, I'll chat for like 10 minutes. Say, hey, even if I like the vibe and the energy she's projecting and I feel like the interaction is going well. And then I will just say, well, hey, when would you be free to meet up? Or you can just suggest a day when you know you're free and see if she's available on that day and set up the date over the phone. So there you go, guys. Those are some simple tips that you that you could apply today as far as setting up a date that you match that you uh, meet online. And also, when you um, those are some tips if, to, to kind of figure out if a girl's even interested in you. So like I said, if you're... You're having a say you're messaging her and you're not getting too much investment in your interaction from her it shows lack of interest if you messaging her but setting up a date and then she responds with something totally different from what you message her she's not really interested and if she keeps saying you know i still need to talk you know before i can meet you or if i need to chat more before i can give out my number and even when you mention that well let's chat on the app features and she's not you know interested in doing that that shows a sign that she's not interested so there you guys you know keep that um in mind next time you match with someone on these apps so that way you can kind of calibrate to see if someone's interested in you because if someone's real if a woman's really interested in meeting you and getting to know you she is going to show you by her actions in the way she is communicating and you know following your lead when you're trying to make things happen and i found that like most of the times when i've you know gone out there and i've you know I've, you know woman has followed my lead and we you know set everything up properly you know i've ended up having some of the best dates in my life but nine times out of ten when a woman is not following the lead is not interested in talking not showing investment in the interaction you know it's really nothing and it just kind of fluffs off so there you go guys those are some simple strategies that you can apply today when setting up a date online and i hope this helped and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you on the next stream rock on